Hi everybody, I'm Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot, as most of you know, and I hope um, that you will have a beautiful Christmas, um, New Year's Eve, sorry, Christmas has already been, I hope you've had a good time then as well. I hope you have a beautiful New Year's Eve and a happy New Year's Day. I'm pre-recording the dailies um, today, and I'm sorry I'm a little bit late, or I was a little bit late with your weekly reading because I've got them muddled up. I thought I'd already done them, but those were the romance readings. So I hope you enjoy all the readings, also the romance readings and this week's. Have a beautiful um, uh, change from the old to the new, and I hope 2020 will bring you all that you wish, health, wealth and happiness, and even more than that. And I hope it's really going to be a super duper year. It's number four, stability, productivity. Um, what you have sown in 2019, you will reap this year. And remember, my belief is if you've done something wrong, it will come back threefold. If you've done something good, it will also come back threefold, more than you expect. So it's also a karma year. Take care and be blessed. I won't be going on uh, live, I think, on, uh, on uh, New Year's Day, as everybody is taking a day time out. So if I do, uh, you'll be notified if you subscribe and if you hit that bell. I still believe in miracles and I hope we can still make uh, 2020 members. There are 5,000 members not subscribed yet. So please join the family and uh, hit that subscribe button, please, and leave your reactions below. And if you want the extended reading, then today is the last, or yesterday was the last day. It will be, I might extend it just for one day, 1st of Je January, so at 12 o'clock tonight. Uh, the special offer will be taken off the uh, YouTube channel and then it's past it. So you can pay now and book later. I'll give you a code and then you can send me the code um, and then you can have the free reading. I love you all. Take care and be blessed. Now on to the readings. Don't forget to give us the thumbs up and to share with family and friends so that we might yet be able to get 2020, I still believe in miracles. Ciao, ciao. Hi Virgo, how are you? This is your reading for the 30th till the 5th of January 2020. And you might hear the fireworks already going off. It is 10 to 3 in the afternoon on the 31st. Wow, and it's been going, it's been rattling with, with fireworks all day, but now they're really going off one after another. Okay, sorry that I'm so late with your reading. Here we go. First of all, uh, Cap, uh, Virgo, you have judgment. You've got a new beginning in the new year. You've got a second chance at something because Gabriel is blowing life into the rising dead. They're getting a second chance to life again. It is a new beginning. Okay, you've got luck on your side as you've got the bunch of flowers. You might be getting a gift. Beautiful, beautiful. Luck is on your side. Gift and luck. In the middle of the week, which is today, that is uh, the five of wands. You might have competition. If you are wishing for love or a partner in your life, there might be more than one admirer. This could be a man or a lady, in this case, that is career orientated. But we've got the Ace of Love here. So a new beginning in 28, which makes 10, an ending to old competitions, perhaps, and a new beginning to a relationship or new competition. Ooh, I think it's going to be a finish of competition. I think you're just going to have to make a choice and go for it. There will be celebrations at the end of the week, not only in the middle of the week, because the energy can be throughout the week. But this is the card for Friday, and obviously the energy from Thursday will go into Friday. Friday 
will go into the weekend because that's the start of the weekend. There will be celebrations with family, friends and loved ones. You are cutting with the past. Like I said, this is a 28, a 10 is an end on a, a past competition. You're cutting away and starting anew. A new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning, a new um, uh, luck. Uh, and you might be getting a gift. Who knows? You might be getting proposed to tonight. Woo! Yes! Then it will be a double celebration. At the weekend, you might want to take a rest after all the busy uh, period with the festive time, Christmas, Thanksgiving and New Year. You are taking it easy at the weekend. You're taking time to think about it. If there is competition with regards to a partner or a business partner or in love, but I think it's more in love because of the heart, then um, I think uh, you are taking time out. Um, it could be a cup sign, it could be a fire sign, but it could also be directly a Virgo, as the Hierophant stands for Virgo. Okay, mm, and you, um, this could be a person that is always very argumentative, and um, if it isn't a Virgo, it could be a uh, a person that you've always had an argument with that was a water sign or a fire sign uh, so yes here this is the um, jack or the king of uh, uh, staves as it is the clover and it's number 11 it is a new doorway and now the angels are giving you a new beginning this is the jack he's not quite wearing a crown so this, sorry, this is the jack. It's not quite a crown, okay? So this is a fire sign. It is um, a, a person card, like this is the jack of um, diamonds, okay? The diamonds, the jack of pentacles. So you have got earth here. Uh, here you are, is to confirm the earth sign here. And this is the jack uh, of uh, fire, clover, and Yep, we've got water here really, but I don't know whether um, judgment is not an, representing any zodiac sign. So yes, there is a fire sign here and there is a, a pentacle sign confirming. So I think those are the two strongest points you are leaving behind. You are letting dirty water pass your door and you're taking the broom and you're sweeping it clean. You've done, you're done with the arguments because the broom stands for arguments or disagreements. You are much wiser. If this is not the Virgo, then it could be you advising you to be the hermit, to take time out, to meditate or sit quietly and evaluate the situation. What is your choice? Do you want competition? Do you want to cut away from the competition? Woo, this is so many impressions. It's a very an impressionable reading. Okay, um, remember this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. But I think this could be uh, advice, uh, advice to you, take time out, think about it, evaluate before you start on that new road, a second chance. A second chance or a new beginning, I see this as a second chance because the people have lived before and Gabriel is giving them a second lease of life, also meaning a new beginning. So if you want to reconciliate, think about it very carefully. Um, a, a fox may shed its hair, but not its uh, habits, okay? A fox doesn't, in other words, his hair falls out, but he does not lose his streaks. Okay, and the overall energy, for you, Virgo, that is balance. Balance between heart and mind or heart and soul. Because you've got the um, uh, aura around you and that is spiritual and that's your soul. Okay, so try to keep the balance between that. This is not being, uh, this is not the meaning I get or feel for 
balance between home and work. You know, this is more a matter of the heart. Ooh, nice one. But there's a new beginning and it will bring you abundance of happiness and perhaps more money. Okay. Well, if we do look at it uh, from a career perspective and business, then there is a lot of competition. Okay. Um, you will have, this is your passion, so it doesn't feel like competition for you because your work is your passion and you will succeed and you will uh, thin out the bad things um, at work like overworking or underpaid staff members or finding a, finding a resolution or an answer uh, with regard to competition so that you have a sound business, that you're a strong leader, that you've got the wisdom, that you are the teacher that can pass it on to your staff. So you are clearing away with the bad and uh, the tacky business perhaps, or uh, people that aren't pulling their weight, you're lightening your load. So you will have a lot of more, more money uh, and time left over and that is also a form of abundance, but I still think it's more of um, uh, love, to do with love. Accept life as it is. The angels are here to advise you that you will, uh, hold on, that you will That's the blue angel, uh, angel feather, that you will feel a calming inner peace and peace of mind when you stop trying to control things and everything in your life. So here you are, um, inner, inner strength, inner calmness, that is what the hermit creates. So you might be just taking it easy and um, evaluate the situation about anything at the weekend and this will give you reassurance lighten your load and you will travel lighter because you can get rid of anything that's of no use to you anymore the blue angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of contentment the angels would like you to understand that when you develop the ability to go with the flow you become fully present in every moment of your life by trusting yourself to go with the ups and downs each day and by trusting the angels to support you through your life you will experience a new sense of tranquility this new sense of calmness effectively allows more positive things to come to you the affirmations that you can use i live in the present moment I'm accepting of my life as it is right now. I'm going with the flow. Yes, you are taking it easy. You're evaluating your situations, the, the, perhaps your competitions, the mock fights. The mock fights means not true fights. Um, it is just, um, might be just a difference of opinion but it's not the five swords it's the five of ones and i think it is competition competition is healthy especially in business because men stand for steadfastness business career orientated they're the breadwinner but they do also know how to celebrate with family and friends and cut away the bs you've got two cards here cutting away you're harvesting here and you're taking away your wisdom and your life experience and taking it with you on your life's journey and you're passing it on to third parties. Beautiful. Then we have surrender fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every day and every baby step forward. There you go.
if you clear away old rubbish you're going into the new year or you are in the new year now you're clearing away what was none no use to you and you're creating a new beginning for yourself awesome and on your life's journey next year you will travel lighter and you'll go with the flow much quicker awesome reading virgo happy new year take care and remember please share and like and i be blessed and i'll see you later tonight or in the next video